Hello beautiful Pisces and welcome back to Intuitive Energies. My name is Jane and this is your second reading of the day. So this morning we looked at the sun and how that can really shine brightly and blind you to um, to continue on your journey. Now this will take many forms. It can take forms as in something in the world that's happening that's distracting you, something around you that's distracting you, or even something within you that's distracting you in form of a fire, in form of something that, that's so bright and, and shining so hot that it's just taking up a lot of room. And Pisces, I think Spirit really wants to know that if you follow your intuition, you can follow your own path. You don't necessarily need to be blocked. The sun is usually a very positive card, and for me it always is. But you cannot live by the sun alone. Even just as I was speaking that the rain comes in, it helps, and the sun does its part, the rain does its part, its, its part the nighttime does its part. Everything works together. So you can't just live on one thing alone, okay? So if you're interested in that reading, I did talk a lot about different things here. Even getting a hit that maybe something's going on that, since I pre-record this, uh, maybe this something's going on to affect the collective. But I'm not a predictor. I don't predict such things. So, But sometimes it happens. So I'm going to put these here. We're going to focus on our intuition. Because right now what we need to focus on is how we are working on ourselves, within ourselves. Okay? This is a new um, Raise Your Vibration deck. My breath connects me to life. Again, we're talking about breathing, Pisces. Oh, I feel like I'm I feel like I've already said this. I do believe I have though. I, I do believe that I have that it's and you see it. There's there's the breath not only to life but to spirit. Do you see it? Do you see the same thing going on here? You see it? Yeah, you should. So, when you're breathing, when you're focusing on breath, what happens? I am breathing deeply into my lungs, out through my mouth. And you can close your eyes and you can let all of that tension go. And as you feel yourself relaxing into this, this becomes a meditation in itself. And at that point, you can say, I would love to connect to my guides. I want to connect to you. I want you in around me, um, 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 protecting me, cradling me. Um, I want to feel your energy. I want to be part of your energy. I want my ability for intuitive connection to be the strongest it's ever been. And I want uh, help and guidance and as well you know, help in guiding myself, because we are a very strong spiritual energy, okay? So, my breath connects me to life. You know what? I feel that this has a lot to do. It's blue, so I could be wrong, but let me see here. I won't say anything until I find it. At 76, yeah, I think... I think this has to do with your throat chakra, but yes, it is your throat chakra. Okay. So this has to do with speaking your throat, but you know, with the throat chakra, you're speaking from the heart that comes out of the throat. So be true to yourself. Be true to the people around you. That's important as well. In yoga teachings, breath is known as prana, which is another word for life force. The ancient yogis saw no distinction between breath and life force, and today the universe is encouraging you to tune into the power of your breath. We breathe without thinking, and yet when things get tense or overwhelming, there's a good chance we deprive ourselves of what we need most, air. Air holds the life force of the universe, and when we become aware of our connection to it, 
We create a pathway to guidance, support, and even abundance. Today you are being guided to take more breathing space into your life. When too many things are piled into your schedule, your breath can become shallow, your energy can be spread thin, and eventually you feel drained. So take note of your breath. If you're holding it or restricting it while doing tasks in your daily life, know that that's not fully in alignment with your being. You weren't born to live with half a half full cup. You are here to breathe with ease and live a life that is full, full of purpose, connection, and enjoyment. Vibe of the day is I take it the time I need to breathe. I've recently done this with my son. He was getting, there was something happening and he was worried about it and, and I told him you have to stop now. You have to stop and you have to concentrate on your breath. You have to take deep breaths. And we did breathing exercises. He felt better, be better, sorry, French coming in. He got refocused on the task he was doing and got it accomplished. So sometimes it's just as easy as that, okay? So this is a, a really good one. It's also a great way to tap back into your intuition. So let's take some tarot here, Pisces. Let's take a look at what's going on. I'm using the Sufi tarot. It's a very beautiful tarot deck. Six of Coins, Personal Balance. This is always my card to indicate what personal balance feels like, a give and take, okay? So, <clears throat> important to you is to find that balance. Ooh. The Daughter of Coins. She is somebody who is obviously young, learning, building, growing what needs to be uh, grown and dug, okay? Um, yeah, I feel this is very much about the self. This is balancing yourself out. Making sure that you're taking care of, because what she grows here is going to not just take care of you, it's going to take care of your environment around you. And so it's important to reconnect to that. Sometimes the world just goes crazy around you, and what you got to do is be a grounding and balancing force. Okay, that's just that's just a better way to be. Ooh, love this. There's a strength card. This is how you should use the Aries. Um, yeah, the Aries uh, energy. Okay. Let me see here, Pisces. The Six of Cups and the Three of Coins. This is putting things in place. And it's also this beautiful card of just from the heart. The Six of Cups. You see there's two Sixes here today. There's a lightness of being. I also like that there's also somebody very young. Again, uh, young, youth, youthful, um, because at this at this time in these places, we're always inspired to be and and do more when we're younger, right? We have a lot more hope for the world, and I feel that your quilt, this beautiful, it, it, I know it's probably not a quilt, looks more like tiles, but this beautiful design that you've been building. It's so gorgeous, and it's so you. And again, all you really have to do is put the pieces in place to make it feel right, to make it feel okay. Yesterday we had this, this beautiful coming in. There's that energy again. There's that energy coming in again, okay? Six to Cup for me has always been a very uh, nostalgic time, but it's also childlike joy. And you have the strength card giving you the strength you need. That's how you use that Aries energy coming in and just let it inspire you 
to take the lead, to have that strength within, the ability to just work through it and figure it out. Okay. That, that shop coin, which is the king of pentacles, has been coming out a lot. A lot. Um, I feel that there's a lot in, in you here, that you have a lot of um, success and wealth available to you. Or coming to you, okay? Just this growth here. This beautiful in, in the picture, you know? This is in the picture for you. This is coming up for you. All you really have to do is just follow the course. Follow your intuition. Alright, so many, many came out here. So, you have the card of judgment. I really like this one because, again, you get that, that beautiful type of energy. The music from within, you know, helping with the transformation. And it's almost like you have circles around you waiting for that transformation. I know they're supposed to be stagnant and mummies, but they also look like cocoons that are going to spurt into these butterflies. Your song is important. Your change is important in life. For some of you, more than you realize. And it may not even ever come to light. Or for some of you, it may come to light how important it was for you to uh, change. There's a well-being. Look at this. This is the lovers. This is a marriage of, of commitment and harmony to this union that you're creating here. And then you have the two of staffs. Again, the two of wands. Okay, the magic is in the air. It's coming in. Just don't let it stagnate you, Pisces. It's not time for a disconnect, okay? It's time for you to reconnect, absolutely. Don't disconnect from yourself. Don't alienate yourself in this energy that it's going to feel a little bit. Take time to breathe. Take time to contemplate, okay? Take time to figure it out. There's These cards have been wanting to come out with the same type of energy. Building that bridge. Uh, and the fact that it's not really there, the fact that it's, it's in energy form, I just feel it's spirit telling you that you can build it for yourself. It doesn't need to be part of the scenery. Okay? You can build it energetically for yourself. Ten of Cups. And look at that rainbow. Look at the size of it now. It's so huge. It's so big. It's making up half of the scenery. And look at that. It's like that energetic bridge can be gapped if you build it. Ten of cups, ten of coins, you guys, there's, there's nothing I can do for that. I mean, there's nothing I can say that's going to make it bigger than that. Ten and ten, these are the best cards in the deck. They represent abundance, fulfillment, wealth. Everything you've ever wished for is at your hand. I mean, it's just there. Even love. For some, the, 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 the Knight of Cups is like love's coming in, right? The love of your life. If you listen to love uh, readings, oh, love is coming in. But this kind of energy in this card is like beyond that. This is, this is like energy beyond. This is creating that magic creating that spiritual energy that you need that bridge to bring in rainbow bridge yeah 
I know that means something different, but to me the rainbow bridge is, is bringing color into your life. You are creating that. All you have to do is really focus on it. Focus on your transformations coming in, Pisces. This is really beautiful, you guys. Um, there's individual messages coming in as well because simply of the fact of the rainbow bridge coming in. So there might be pets. There might be pets on the other side. Especially for this. I, I can't help but feeling that there's there's somebody's animal friend. Animal friend who is definitely has made their um, has made their presence felt in the last couple of days. And you've questioned like going, could it be? And I'm here to say, yes it is. Yes it is. The reason why I feel that sometimes I get a lot of pets is because they have such a pure energy. Most animals are just love. They're just made of pure love. You can see it in their eyes. An energy without agenda. So I'm going to leave it with this because my heart is, is getting all tender with this stuff, Pisces. But I, I think this, this again is telling you you are capable of so much. The lovers, the ten of cups, the ten of pentacles, the shah of coins, the richest king, the personal balance, the youthful uh, kind of energy that you have the ability to contemplate on your magic and then creating it. I mean, uh, there's so much letting you know what you're capable of in this reading. You're just capable of it all. You just need to commit to doing it, that's all. So it's not much of a block. Really, it isn't. The block is getting distracted from it. It's not being able to quiet the mind enough to let things happen for themselves. So trust your intuition. Trust your guidance. Really tap in strongly. Put an effort and a commitment to going back within the self and the beautiful spirit energy that guides you every day. And continue on your path. All right, Pisces. I'm going to let you go with this. I'm going to send you a lot of love, light, and blessings as always. This has been a really uh, wonderful and calming <laughs> reading for me. And uh, yeah, I like the energy of it, especially somebody who has uh, pet friends that are coming through. All right, you guys, take care, and I will see you tomorrow. We're going to be talking about how the past is affecting you and how you can utilize it to Mm, get you where you want to go. So, take care. Bye for now.